Hello beautiful people, I'm Rish Phoenix and in today's video we're going to be talking about questionable things my parents told me when I was younger. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, so when I was younger, there were things that my parents would tell me that were questionable. Um, have you guys ever been in a situation like this when your parents say something to you and you're just like, do you really believe, like, are you trolling me or do you really believe that? Or like, like, where is this coming from? So I have a list of things on my phone. So if you see me looking down every now and then, I'm looking at my phone. So the first thing that was questionable was that my dad would tell me, don't whistle because I'm a girl child. And, um, <laughs> it's one of those things where I, like, now that I'm older, I'm like, wait, what? And I'm not sure if it's one of those things where it's just like, don't whistle because as a girl, it's unladylike, or don't whistle because I'm a girl and whistling is bad luck? I don't know. I mean, I could ask him, but, um, I don't, I don't know. I think I'll just leave it as one of those things where it's just like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the second thing is, I think one day I was in the living room and I was watching TV and either I had one sock on or I had one slipper on because I was about to put on the other one or because I was removing my socks. I don't know, something like that. But I literally just had one foot that had nothing on it and one foot that either had a sock or a slipper on it. And my mom like was going up the stairs and I remember like she looked at my foot and she was just like, No, don't do that and I was just like, What? <laughs> like <laughs> Like I don't I can't remember exactly if she told me don't do that or if she told me like or looked at me questionably like what are you doing but pretty much she told me not to wear one sock at a time or not to wear one slipper at a time because it's short it's shortening her life so apparently it's something where it's just like if you wear one sock at a time or one shoe at a time it's shortening your mother's life what <laughs> like i don't i don't get it like i don't i don't get it i don't how how? 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 I don't know. I don't know. So this next one is something that my sister shared with me um, because at the time my sister was into astrology and she still loves astrology and she knows constellations and she understands things like the eclipse and all that. So um, I remember, and she even had like a telescope, so I think this was one of those years when she would go outside and she either had a telescope or something like that, and she was really excited about seeing the blood moon. So um, she told me that, and at this time like I was probably sleeping or I didn't really care about astrology that much, so this was something she told me after it happened. So she told me that our dad um, said... <laughs> <laughs> our dad said not to look at the blood moon because it's the blood of a man that was on the moon like something like that man died on the moon and somehow one man's blood covered the entire moon and you shouldn't look at it what? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I think I was so young when my sister told me this that I can't really remember how I reacted to even hearing that. Like, what? But it's something that now, current day, like, if I mention it, like, we'll both laugh at it, laugh at it because it's just like, how can the blood of one man cover the entire moon. How? 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 I don't know. <laughs> um, the next thing is, um, 
So the next thing is during like thunderstorms, my dad would be like, don't take a shower. PS2, turn that off. PS3, turn that off. Like, <laughs> like literally whenever it was a thunderstorm outside, he'd say, don't take a shower, turn off the AC, turn off your PS2, like just don't use it. Don't use it. Use as little electricity as possible and just don't take a shower. Like just don't. And like I remember there were moments when like I was over by my TV playing my PS2 and like it would start thundering outside and like I hear him and I think he I'd hear him like take his footsteps like like right outside of my door that's where the um the AC um controller is so he'd go over there he'd turn off the um the AC and then he'd look in my window at me not look in my window he'd look in my door at me and of course I'm on my bed like I'm playing my PS2 and he'd be like turn it off and I'm like what the fuck I'm just like, are you serious? Like, what? <laughs> and, like, I don't... I can't remember if I actually turned it off or if I pretended I turned it off or if it was one of those things where your parent just says it and expects you to do it but never checks back on you so you don't really do it. So, <laughs> I can't really remember. But, um, yeah. He would always do that. He'd always say, like, don't shower, turn off the AC, turn off your PS2 turn off the TV. Yeah. And then the last thing, I saved the best for last. <laughs> so during um, like Memorial Day weekend or um, the 4th of July, whenever they would have um, fireworks outside. <laughs> whenever they would have fireworks outside. And, like, let's say if I was looking out the window and, like, trying to see the fireworks that my neighbors are doing or over here in the backyard, my dad would tell me, don't look outside when they're doing fireworks because they'll see you and they will throw a firework at you. <laughs> Can you imagine if you're in your house, like, you're in your house, you're looking through, like, your living room window and you're seeing your neighbors doing fireworks and then suddenly they're like, <laughs> like like I don't I don't understand I don't I don't I don't understand I don't understand I don't I don't know it's just and it's like now that I'm older like it's one of those things where you get older and you start thinking about certain things or you like there's a thunderstorm that happens or there's fireworks and you kind of start to think back on the past like hmm why am I feeling like the sudden urge to laugh like where's that coming from and then you think back to the stuff that your parents told you and you're just like what like that's why <laughs> that's why I find a sudden urge to laugh when people are doing fireworks like I don't really feel a sudden urge to laugh but it's just like it's like I remember some emotion that's associated with fireworks and then I start dissecting it and then I'm like wait that's why I'm feeling this emotion so um yeah those are the questionable things my parents would tell me when I was younger um share in the comments if there are things that your parents used to, to tell you when you were younger and now that you're older you're just like did I really believe that or like did they really believe that or what like if there's anything just comment below tell me whatever your parents would tell you that would just not make any sense anyway that's it for today's video bless up and until next time sending out much peace love and enlightenment bye guys